today's update brings a brand new quest, the Defender of Varrock. And along with that, Armoured Zombies, who have a 1 in 800 chance of dropping the new zombie axe. So the quickest way to get there is to use a dig site pendant and go to the dig site. From here, you want to run north and go to the trapdoor that you used during the quest in the Defender of Varrock. Once inside, the best spot to kill the armoured zombies is in the northwest. As you can see, it's super busy here at the moment, so you will struggle to get this, but if you can get the northwest, then you want to do it because I've marked some really useful tiles for barraging, which is the quickest way to kill them. It's around 300 to 350 kills per hour. For the gear, you want to wear the best magic damage boosting armour you have, and then use blood barrage, not ice barrage, because you want all the zombies to come to you. So these are the first two tiles you should mark, because as you can see, there's a ranger attacking me, which isn't in range. If you run up to the next tile there, you'll then drag that ranger into range, allowing you to continue barraging. Once the rest spawn like that, you'll then be hitting the ranger. And the last tile you want to mark is the one just below us now. If you feel the zombies aren't quite clumped enough, run into that one and then back to the tile I'm currently on. Jiggles them all around a little bit and they get back into a good formation. And finally, to keep this smooth, the best way to just reset aggro is to run down into this corner and then all the way back up. And that, every single time I did it, reset my aggro. I'd probably advise having the NPC aggression indicator plugin on, but I forgot to use it. So XP per hour, I was getting around 175k to 185k XP per hour. Obviously, if you're not using blood barrage, it's going to be slightly lower, but you could definitely get away with using the lower blood spells. Just make sure you've got pots so you can protect from melee. They're incredibly weak to magic, so you don't need to worry about that. Hey, we got the axe. Where is it? There it is. Beautiful. So this is currently broken. We need 70 smithing to go and fix it. So let's go ahead and do that once we hit 500 KC. A massive thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made, and it's available now for free on PC and consoles. Take command of over 2,500 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships of 10 major nations, ranging from biplanes and armored cars of the 1920s to the fighter jets and main battle tanks of today. Immerse yourself in the intense combat of War Thunder, where incredibly detailed vehicles, realistic graphics, and authentic sound effects place you right at the helm of the most powerful war machines of our time. Join a worldwide community of over 70 million players in epic PvP battles today. War Thunder has one of the most sophisticated vehicle damage models in gaming along with an impressive damage x-ray view. You can see precisely where a shell penetrated or where the damage is. And with in-depth customization, you can make a vehicle feel like yours and completely unique to anyone else's. So use my link in the description and you'll receive a massive bonus pack available for new and returning players who haven't played for six months. You'll get the exclusive vehicle decor Eagle of Valor, 100,000 silver lions and seven days of a premium account. Okay, so we can take the broken zombie axe to any anvil in the game. We just need a hammer and 70 smithing, as I said earlier. All right, let's use this on here and repair the axe. 500 smithing XP for that. Let's take everything off and just have a look at these stats quickly. So we get 105 slash with 90 crush, 107 melee strength, and a tick speed of 5 tick. So slightly slower than a whip, but a whip, for example, has 82 slash with 82 strength. Uh, Jagex are saying this is just under a whip, but comparable. So this is quite a cool, interesting thing that Iron Man can go for. I'd say the biggest hurdle is having the 70 smithing. Let's go give this bad boy a go and see what it's like. I thought it'd be appropriate to go to the Abyssal Demons here, seeing as this is meant to be the slight downgrade from a whip. Big fan of how it looks. Fits in really nicely with the current gear, actually. Um, and yeah, I think it's sort of like a leaf-bladed battle axe. It sort of looks like it's got the same animation as that. That's the slash. This is the crush animation. Pretty cool looking. I mean, of course, it's hitting really nicely. We're in great gear. But yeah, seems like a pretty good little uh, addition. Quite interested to see how much it's selling for in the GE. You can actually trade it once it's fixed. So let's go over to the GE, see what they're selling for, and then I'll show you the loot from 500 of these armored zombies. No whip. Just before we do sell it, though, we'll uh, go to Barrows and just give it a go with no gear on whatsoever. I feel like Iron Men will be going for this, and of course I have an Aram Tunnel. 
<laughs> we'll go to Carol, uh, and then we'll go and try and find Aram down in the crypts. Uh, yeah, I feel like Iron Man will be going for this axe, and, you know, a thing Iron Man do is usually um, go for Barry's items. So, I mean, pff, two great hits there. Let's chuck Piety on now. Without any gear whatsoever, it's absolutely ripping Carol apart. See you later. Uh, let's see if we can hunt Aram down. Here we go. Let's see how it does here. 27. 4. 0. Okay, it's not doing as well here. But I think that was just unlucky. Really struggling against Aram. I mean... Looking at the stats, it shouldn't be. I think this is just genuinely, we're getting unlucky with the hits. Obviously, we're wearing no gear as well. So, you know, this is just the, the axe talking. We are going to run out of prayer here. Uh, a lot of zeros. Try crush. The crush is worse on this, so it doesn't make sense to do that. Wow, what a slow kill, man. I can't believe how many zeros I'm hitting. Finish him. Boom. There we go. Uh, let's quickly use it on a skeleton. I'm surprised by the amount of zeros. Really surprised by the amount of zeros. There we go. Let's see if we get anything. 946 GP. Lovely. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and sell this off. All right, let's chuck it in. Uh, actively traded price 400k. I'm going to put it in for like 4 mil and just see what happens. Okay, it does look like it's probably selling for that price then. Um, let's go ahead and try and put it in for like... 1 mil and see if anyone's buying for 1 mil. Ooh, 1.4 mil. Okay. There we go. 1.4 mil for the zombie axe. We'll take it. That's not bad at all, actually. Okay, so this is the loot from 500 armored zombies. It's saying 991k. Obviously, that's taking into account that this uh, is 400k, but it's actually selling for 1.4 mil at the moment. So we can add an extra mil to that. So from 500 armored zombies, we made 1.9 mil, just shy of 2 mil, or probably 2 mil because it did sell for just over uh, 1.4 mil. So 2 mil GP. Um, Iron Men, this is going to be great for 200 planks in oak planks, uh, 200 normal planks. 22 teak planks, very nice. 16 Raynars, uh, some Aventos, some Guams, bit of GP drops as well. Quam, Haralander, few runes, but nothing really to write home about. 13 Irit leaves, 4 Catatines, 5 Dwarf Weeds, some Adi Armor, Lanta Dimes, 300 Adi Arrows, 31 Taramins. A load of pure essence, some marantils, and then some pretty weak stuff at the bottom. Thanks very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really would appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to download War Thunder by using the link in the description.